We're going to take a look into the land of video, and it's called Sync Master. And Michael is going to show us what that's all about. Please give a round of applause for Michael. Thank you. So as a video editor and motion designer, music is a huge influence on my work. I use it not only to evoke emotion and mood, but I also use it as the underlying structure of how I edit. So I have this project, let's say it's a surfing competition video. I've laid in my clips, but it just doesn't feel right. Let me show you guys what I mean. So here it is. But what you notice is that it's not really synced at all to the music. So I really need to redo this so that it's synced in time with the music. So with Sync Master, our team has been working on a way to uh, show the data that makes up music, and then we visualize it on the timeline. So one of the first things that we've been working on is a revisualization of the waveform. So what you're going to see is that it's split into three bands, high, mid, and low. So then in practice, you can now start to almost pick out individual instruments or notes even. So here's a good example. You see the bass come in here. And then underneath, we have what we call events, which are represented by the green lines. So this is a new algorithm, which finds all the most interesting points in time for you automatically. So now you can start to use these to sync your clips with. So what I'm going to do now is load up our prototype and show you how this works in action. And I'm just going to load in my project from earlier. And right away, you see our waveform is rendered at the bottom. We have our events overlaid on top. And I can tell just by how the waveform looks that there's this intro in the beginning, and then there's this big event here that I know I want to sync to. So I can take my clips, and I can start to drag, and I can start to snap to that event. Yes. And I can even take the out point of my clips and start to snap to it. So we show this information, but we also make it actionable for you. And now it's really easy to make a quick, rough cut edit based on some of the events I see happening before this big bass notes. And I can just look for these events and start to snap them right there. The last one here. Mm -hmm. OK, let's see how that looks now. Rock and roll. Right? Do that. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Woo! Pretty good, right? But there's more. So maybe what I want to do next is bring in uh, my logo for my event. So I can start by bringing in a color and bring in uh, my logo for the event as well. And I'm just going to make these a little longer. And I want this to snap to this event here. Let's see how that looks. Cool. So the logo's coming in at the right time, but it's kind of big. It's kind of like taking over things, and it's kind of boring and static. So with Sync Master, what I can do is take the actual amplitude data. And if I open up these, I have the properties. I have my amplitude down here and I can drag and drop and put it right under the opacity. So now I have this cool flashing effect happening in the background right directly in time with the music. Woo! And cool. I can do the same thing with the scale for my logo as well. And I can even go in here and change some of the properties. Let's change the normalization a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Thank you. That is Sync Master. Thank you very much.